I'm Stacey Larson and I am a project geographer here at Dewberry. Today I'm going to talk with you about coastal barriers. Now you might ask yourself, what is a coastal barrier? If you have ever been to the Outer Banks in North Carolina, then you have been to a coastal barrier before. To get technical, a coastal barrier is generally defined as a geologic depositional feature which is subject to wind, wave, and tidal energies and it protects the landward aquatic habitat including the adjacent wetlands, the marshes, the estuaries, the inlets, and the nearshore waters. Now to give you some examples of coastal barriers, tombolos, chenires, barrier spits, and barrier islands are all coastal barriers. To minimize the impact on coastal barriers, Congress enacted the Coastal Barrier Resources Act in 1982. The CBRS units encompass 3.1 million acres of sensitive coastal habitats along the Gulf of Mexico, the Atlantic Coast, and the Great Lakes. It's not yet on the West Coast. And the boundaries that my group produces get placed on the official CBRS maps. Now if you are a homeowner and you build in a CBRS unit, then you will not be eligible for flood insurance. There are some exceptions. So it's kind of a big deal if you build in one of those areas. And this puts the burden of building in a high-risk area on the homeowner and not the rest of the insured population. Now I hope this has been an informative talk for you on coastal barriers and stay tuned for our next Dewberry Explains.